what happens if I go out and I agree to loan someone my money for 5% interest and then the Fed goes out and raises rates two or three times? What might happen? It depends, Mm -hmm. right? Okay, it depends because a lot of people mistakenly believe that the Fed sets interest rates. That is a big mistake. The Fed influences interest rates primarily on the very short-term money, Mm -hmm. right? But typically speaking, long-term money is also impacted by short-term money. And it goes something like this. If I want to borrow money from you, Matt, Mm -hmm. the first thing you're going to need to figure out is, will I pay you back? Okay. Let's just assume you've always paid everyone back yeah. your entire so life. So that's my that's your risk as a lender. Mm-hmm. That's your default risk. My likelihood of paying you back. The higher my likelihood I pay you back, the lower the probability of default. This is where a lot of people get tripped up because like the US government for example has a really good history of paying people back. Because they have a printing press. Right, but what about the company who wants to borrow your money. Well, what about your, you know, sort of slightly less reliable second cousin, twice removed roommate who (laughs) you're pretty sure has a substance abuse problem and is coming to you asking to borrow money. Okay. I doubt. What do you think about that potential? You're probably not going to want to lend them money just the same as you might not want to lend a company money who's about to go bankrupt yeah. or so, something along those lines, right? The like idea it, is the higher the risk exactly. of the borrower, the higher you're going to require somebody pay you interest in order to incentivize you. Right. The chance and that the they shorter, default on paying you Yeah, back. the shorter term, you'll loan them money too. It's like, well, I'll loan you $100 overnight if you give me $200 tomorrow and you're going to have to give me your car keys. Mm hmm. Right. Like, oh, OK, well, maybe I'll do it. It's like I just got to go to the bank and get this money and I'll be right back with it. It's like, OK, well, give me or give me your PlayStation. Right. I can hawk that for a couple hundred bucks. And so right. you give me your PlayStation. I'll loan you one hundred dollars. Now you're basically a private pawn shop. Right. Mm-hmm. But that's how a securitized loan would work. You got right. the security of the PlayStation. 